Hey guys, it's me and the Glam Goat. Glam. Oh, Glammy. What are we going to talk about today, dude? Carroty. Oh, yes, indeedy. All right, go take a seat. All right, so Team Glam Goat. I, I kind of like that. Team Glam Goat Gang. No, Team Glam Goat. I think Team Glam Goat is like, yeah, y'all are. We're a team, folks. We're a team. I dug, you know, to say, I made my quest of trying out every single one of the pigments in every single palette that I own. Um, and I actually bought some palettes along that journey. Ah, yeah. What is it about eyeshadow palettes? Why? I mean, the eyeshadow palette seems to be one of the products that lasts the longest, and yet I have the most. Like, seriously. I, I, I didn't count them because, you know, yeah, no. Anyways, this one, this is, I believe, a brand that's mostly you see on, like, Facebook. Carity. This is the Picante by Carity. Um, you know, it's not a small palette, but it's not a real huge one either, which is nice because it's still, it's still, you know, easy to transport. Um, it fits in my palette bag. This is my official palette bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, really, if it was any bigger, it probably wouldn't, but it fits in there just very nicely. Um, it's got a lot of colors in it. Now, this is an extremely reasonable brand. When I say extremely reasonable, we're talking extremely reasonable. Okay, um, no mirror, but you know what, for what this costs, whatever. This is not plastic. It's like, um, It's a quality cardboard, you know. I mean, it's it's not like like that Morphe plastic, but it's it's nice cardboard, and it's got a real good magnet in there. Um, I got this on a pre-order when it was just coming out, and while I'm talking, how about if I Actually, with my primer, prime the lids here um, using my Profusion primer. But, um, I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'm wanting to try all these different brands. And this one just kept popping up in my feed. And finally, I was like, you know what? Okay. That looks like a pretty palette that I would use, and if you pre-ordered, you got a discount, and I think even the shipping was discounted, I don't know, but it came up to, gosh, I think I paid like, Twelve or fifteen dollars for I think I paid twelve dollars for the palette and three dollars for the shipping. So we're talking like I think it was right around fifteen dollars for the whole thing. Um, I could be mistaken, but if it was more than that, it was only a couple of dollars. It really, really wasn't much more than that. Ooh, while we're talking, what do you think of my eyebrows? Like, this has been, they've been on all freaking day. It's like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And they've been on since 7 o'clock, 7.30 this morning. Eyebrows. And the only product that I'm using is that... Iconic eyebrow cushion 
that we got in our boxy lux. Um, I mean, I might start using some gels, but I just wanted to see like how this would perform on its own. And right now I'm like, yeah, looking good. Okay. <clears throat> Luxy angle shader brush. Love it. Okay. Carroty. So yeah, um, these, you know, you can't tell a lot by a swatch. I've already heard that whole story and I've seen it happen and I know it's all true. Um, there's not really an, a real good transition shade in here. So we're going to go with, let's just go with this one right here. But, um, hmm, thought I had my other mirror over here. I'm just totally not functioning very well today. Hmm? Oh, well, that's what happens when you get old. So we're just going to kind of go in the crease with this and up. But, uh, yeah, I ordered this palette just to basically quench my curiosity. Not really expecting, you know, much, really. And I got to tell you, this is a nice palette. Um, after I used it a few times, it's soft, it's blendable, it feels like nice and silky it doesn't feel dry and powdery you know um i use a primer it stays where i put it and it stays there all day long thank you very much uh it's always a good thing i mean <clears throat> i have other palettes that i paid more money for that don't feel or perform as well as this one okay my favorite little brush i need i need like three more brushes three more of these vasante brushes i really like this vasante Ooh, so um as usual i have no idea what i'm waiting to go with so let's go with this color right in the center, just dead center here. Looks like a matte. And we're going to kind of just do the outside corner triangle area with that and go into the crease a bit. Um, so, yeah, I went and I looked at some reviews, you know, how... You can do like a search on YouTube and so I did a search on, you know, Carity Cosmetics and Carity Eyeshadows and um, it seems like there's some mixed reviews. You know, it's a small brand and I think it's like, you know, it's been around for a little while now, but, um, you know, they're really just getting off the ground and I think they've maybe gone through a couple of formula changes. Ooh, that's pretty. So I saw that there were some reviews on some palettes that were not very good. Um, although I think they may have been like kind of a marketing issue as well. There was a unicorn palette it did not get good reviews, <laughs> but I tell you, if you're going to do like a unicorn palette or a rainbow palette and you're going to call it that, don't be putting no subtle colors in there because people that buy unicorn and rainbow are not looking for subtle colors. You know, if you're going to put subtle colors in there, then... You know, oh, you have to build them or something like that. Then you need to think of a different name because Tanya, people that are doing, you know, 
People that are looking for rainbows and unicorns are not looking for colors that they have to build up very much. They want, you know, they want it for the color. Ooh, you know what? I am just about happy with that. I think next I'm just going to go right for the lid. That's a pretty color now, isn't it? Can I get closer without knocking things over? What do you think? That is pretty. I'm going to kind of take some of the excess off of here. Really, I wish I could figure out a way for this camera to be more... It's kind of tilting up at me. I wish it could be more straight up and down or even looking down but it's you know it's not a camera it's a phone you know so you're kind of limited limited okay so um really doing some kind of orangey stuff here what have we got in here that's orange here that's orange Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this shimmery color right here. And go through my brushes. Let's see what I got here. So, yes, I have been extremely shocked to find out that this really cheap you know, super reasonably priced palette. is so easy to deal with and, you know, so pretty. And it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have any more fallout than anybody else does. Um... I mean, if you're careful with it, and you don't go just, you know, digging your brush into the pigments, you know, like your brush is a shovel or something, then, you know, and remember to, like, kind of knock off your brush. Hello. really wish I could make this so that I could see and you could see at the same time. Wouldn't that be just too convenient? Wow. I mean, that's like no putting it on with the finger, no wetting the brush. You know, I imagine if you really. If you really took your time and did all that, like with the matte plus stuff and the, what is it, fixed, whatever that is, um, you could do some super nice stuff with this. All right, I need this brush. Hello, brushes, where are you? Here we go. All right. This one first. What are we going to put on the inside? I think we need to go with something a little bit brightish. So, how's about how about this one right here? Still sticking with the orange, but or, I don't know, peach orange whatever tap the brush tap the brushy tap the brush wow it does it blends really well You see what I'm doing? 
Can I see what I'm doing? Can anybody see what I'm doing? It's going on the inside corner here. Just trying to kind of brighten up this area next to my humongous nose. Wow. You know, you almost don't even have to blend it because it like, it like it does it on its own. Okay, just a couple things left. Yeah, the flat brush. I like this brush. Now I'm just going to like draw some of this color under my eye. But just under the corner, just, you know, right here. I'm not going, I'm not even putting any on the brush. I'm just taking what's already there and just pulling it down just so that just so that it's not like top heavy you know because I don't know you know if you're just putting color on your lid and that's it that's fine but when you start getting above the lid you Start getting a lot of color on the top, and then there's nothing underneath, and it just kind of looks unbalanced. All right. Mm, that's pretty. And this is my spot the dot. Spot the dot! Okay, uh, there isn't really a super light highlight color in here so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this one right here and use this for my inner corner highlight which is that little just that little spot right there that just really sets off Like, if you're using a dark eyeliner, this will set it on. If you're using a light eyeliner, <clears throat> you could go with something a little more dark. You know, make some contrast so that that liner just really blows up. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty it is. <laughs> so, I got to tell you, um... I've got a few more that I want to get. I'm trying real hard not to buy eyeshadows from the brands that I already have. I want a Viseart, Vizart, V-I-S-E-A-R-T. Yeah, I know, expensive. Um, I want a Jeffree Star, also kind of pricey. Um, and then there's another one that I can't remember what it is offhand. And I think after those three, oh, a Smashbox. <clears throat> and I already know the one that I want from Smashbox is called Cover Shots. Okay, what did I do with the plastic cover off this? Um, cover Shots. Pinks and Palms. And it's, it's, um, you know, it's their whole cover shot. Uh, thing but it's it's like a lot of really pretty pinks there's some some kind of some pinks like this there's you know a pink like this there's just there's a lot of really and then there's like this green that is it's kind of this color of a green but it's not that dark it's it's more like a um like a shimmery shiny palm <laughs> green and it just you know that one caught my eye a long time ago i just i have never seen it in a store or i would have purchased it um so i guess i'm gonna have to get it online 
and I'm not even sure <clears throat> if I can get it from Sephora. I might actually have to go straight to the manufacturer, which I know they have it. Um, I actually just saw it. Oh, not too long ago. And nobody really talks about, you know, it's mostly Smashbox primer. But, um, I had, someone sent me some samples of, you know, it was just like on a little card. And you only got about two or three uses out of it. But, um. It was a sample of the Smashbox cover shot eyeshadows and ooh, even the stupid cardboard stuff, whatever, you know how they just look, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Even the stupid sample was awesome. So I'm like, I need a Smashbox eyeshadow palette in my life, you know. And let's face it, the cover shots, Whoa, they, they got, they're coming out with a different, like a new cover, uh, cover shot palette every, every month, you know, there must be, there must be 10 or 12 of them now, you know, but the formula, if it's still the same formula that was in that sample that I tried, is outstanding, and they're not really that expensive, um, you know, you just gotta deal with shipping so you know eh. or you know if you're getting it like of course the one that I want is the one that is not in the stores because most of them are right there in the Sephora and you can just go to Sephora or Ulta and you know pick it up and buy it no problem um I might try Sephora though <coughs> um because I know sometimes they can order stuff for you and, like, if it's not in the store, you know, they'll order it and it'll get delivered to your house and there's no shipping. I could be into that. I could be into that. Okay, the mascara. This is, like, some of the coolest mascara ever. <clears throat> Even with all the mascara that I own and... I think I just, I'm getting like two or three more of them this month. Um, I would buy this. This is MAC. I have to look into the MAC products. I don't ever think of MAC as being, I don't know what I think of MAC, but um, I've got eyeliner, or not eyeliner, I've got lip liners from MAC that are out of this world. I mean, like, I had never understood what lip liners were for until I got lip liners that were made by MAC. And I was like, oh, that's what they do. You know? You know what I'm saying? Really super good. And this mascara is, <clears throat> I can't read it, so I'm going to have to go by memory. It's um, False Lash Extreme Black. And it is like... Mm. I really like it. Now, I've been using this a lot, and I think it's running a little bit low. And this tube is not very squeezable. I wish the tube was more squeezable so that I could, like, get more product on it. I think I might be, I think I might be running out because it used to really... I don't like that. When I I have a sample of something and it turns out to be something that I really like and then I only get to use it like three times and it's gone. I'm like, at least give me five. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know. I think this is almost sad. It, oh, but what do you think? Between this carrot tea? I'm telling you. I, you know, once I, I buy my, my Smashbox and my Visar and my Jeffree Star, I may get another one of these. I, you know, some of these lesser brands have really impressed me. 
Um, Carity has impressed me. Who is the other one? Um, there it is. I knew it was right there somewhere. Um, profusion. Pro I, I have two. Profusion. And the second one, the only reason that I bought the second one was because <clears throat> I already had one from them. So I was expecting it to be halfway decent and basically it was cheap and I was like okay so let's find out is this going to be like you know ooh, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not or is this going to be you know their formula is good and the second palette that I got from Profusion just as good as the first one that I got and the first one you know love this the first palette that I got, it's a 9 palette, it's uh, Heavy Metals, and it has, I think, like, maybe 5 shimmer, metallic, whatever. They're not glitters, they're definitely, like, shimmer, metallic, whatever. Um, and four mattes, four dollars. I paid four dollars for, one, two, three, four. Four dollars for the palette. Seriously. Which I was just like, yeah, okay, well, for four dollars, let's try it. Because, you know, it ain't going to be no good, right? Whoa, uh-uh, it was good. The second one, it was in a package deal. I got the eyeshadow, eye primer, and something else. <gasps> Can't remember what the other thing. I think it might have been... I think it might have been an, um, a liner. I'm not absolutely positive. And then there was like a, uh, maybe a 10 pan, you know, with the little long skinny pans, um, like, like the Naked palette from Urban Decay in that kind of a pattern, but, but a lot smaller. Um, and it was 10 bucks for, you know, the whole thing. And I thought, well, for 10 bucks, let's find out what this formula is like. And doggone it, it is good. So, yeah, okay. There's another really reasonable. They feel nice and silky on your fingers. They don't feel dry and powdery. You know how some of them are like, you just know as soon as you stick your finger in it that it's going to suck all the moisture out of your skin and your eyeballs, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No, it doesn't feel like that. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel luxury, but it feels like really nice. Um, so yeah, there, there's two super reasonable brands. Um, also, Juvia's Place. Is that what that's called? <gasps> I know y'all have heard of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I have not seen one of, there are palettes that calls out to me yet, but there are so many good reviews on that. Um, I wouldn't mind trying that one out as well. So, guys, I'm still, I'm still really liking this palette. I'm just really, really, really liking this palette. So, Carity, I don't know. Like I said, I've only got like three more palettes, three or four more palettes to go, and then it's, Okay, who do I like and who do I, you know, eh, who do I reach for and who do I not reach for and who I don't reach for. It's going to hit the road, baby. Hit the road. So, yeah, a lot of my friends are going to be getting some nice palettes because whatever I don't reach for, hit the road, baby. Hit the road. So, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. <laughs> oh, glammy. Oh, he's right. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, if you're not already a subscriber, if you are already a subscriber, you know. Wow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate every thumbs up, every comment. I try really hard to get back to you guys. Um, you know, when I'm at home, I don't have very good data, so... A lot of times I can see you guys commenting and I might be able to like hit the, the like button or the heart button, you know, but there's just, I can't actually get it to load text, you know, so um, it's 
especially Monday is my day off. I will never be able to upload on Monday because, yeah, no, no, no. So, yeah, at work. At work, every day when I come to work, it's the first thing I do is kick in a video and start uploading. <laughs> but, you know, subscribe. We have a lot of fun. I'm trying out stuff um, right now. Foundation. Hourglass is on this side. Door is on this side. I don't know. They've been on all day. What do you think? Kind of hard to tell in this light. <laughs> Up here, person, close and personal. Um, I don't know. You know the door. This is going to be a really tough call between these two. I don't know. Today, I'm not really seeing a lot of difference. I don't know. You guys take a look. You know, split right down the center. I even split my nose up. You know, see what you think. Do you see? Sometimes I can't see, like, on the sides. Do you see any breaking up or anything? Or what's it called? Like, creasing? Especially this side. I have a hard time seeing. Um... You know, does it look the same? Do they both look okay? Which side looks better? Tell me. Let me know. Comment below. Give me a thumbs up. And until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.